do not allow your happiness to be lost do not let your happiness lost due to any occurrence you should not lose your happiness and your inner peace under any circumstance this is called tapa you may feel restless for something this is a power given to you by nature it is given to you to bring about change if you are not restless you cannot bring about any change change take place when you experience disquiet within but why why are you angry today what wrong have we done to you that you can cross it is this internal disturbance then don't allow you to accept any opposition then you do not tolerate anybody when somebody has his way when a mother in law has her way in the family she become critical of the smallest things of her daughter in law why did daughter in law look at me in this peculiar way did she pass from this side why did she dress up like this but note that when you place yourself in tapa then these trivialities become irrelevant irrespective of what you face convenience or inconvenience honor or disrespect you are not lost among them they are not affecting you especially in the old age one must practice tapa and awaken the quality of remaining neutral and unaffected by the circumstance with tapa one can remain calm and prevent inner happiness from being lost two dev brothers were walking along the path happily goddess parvati happened to come from the opposite side these ashwini kumars did not pay any attention to her and did not bow down to her when neither of the brothers suspected her the goddess was furious she considered them intemperate and uncivilized even though they seemed to be divine powers being ashwini kumars they did not know how to offer respect to goddess and they certainly deserved punishment if one is educated considers himself a man of discretion belongs to good family then he should show some respect and pay his compliments to elderly person a respectable man who happens to cross his way if he doesn't then either he is egoistic or does not recognize others in relation to himself if one is educated consider himself so goddess parvati caused them to become camels they were instantly converted into camels a few months later again ma parvati happened to be on the same path she had caused them by the way of punishment for a short while so that they realize their mistake and make amends she asked them sons are you happy they replied ma we are happy she asked again tell me what keeps you happy they replied now we don't have to bath or wash we are perfectly happy we get food from here and there besides we don't have to follow any rules in life not for any prayer or worship you have changed us to this state so we are very happy ma parvati burst into a hearty laughter she said well nothing harms you okay go home and make yourself comfortable i am transforming you to what you were earliest when they became ashwini kumars again they said ma we were roaming lost in our own joy so we did not notice that you were passing from the side we were at fault we were not in our senses since we neglected our etiquette we deserved to be punished one who lives in happiness and remembers his values practices tapa he shall never act in an irresponsible manner if one gets into the habit of being immersed in joy all the time lost in happiness all the time then a curse to becomes a boon to him it does not harm him so all of this is called tapa that you should be happy irrespective of the situation you are placed in don't be in attraction be in traction that is in tapa you have got an opportunity to learn simple things which make life comfortable don't crave for almonds or walnuts 
they don't count they are very simple things which matter and valuable for life take ordinary simple fruits and seasonable vegetables they are very useful and easily digestible take good long walks keep in mind all the three points food prayer and walk a balanced diet daily prayer and daily walks or exercise will keep your mind and body ba- in balance and allow you to make wise decision in life you will be able to hold on to your happiness and not allow any situation to ruin